wait am i just no 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 am i just reading that nigerians are violent wait oh, excuse me is it because of boko haram you guys are getting it all wrong because of just one small unit that decided to create some kind of violence now the whole of nigeria is now violent need to go and do this research again they need to go and do this research again what is it do you even know what is violence go to pakistan go to iraq go to afghanistan you will know the meaning of violence iraq just go and watch cnn watch these countries on cnn then you will be able to define the word violence in fact if your child is looking for a definition of violence instead of going to a dictionary just tell them iraq that's synonym for violence tell them uh, afghanistan synonym for violence pakistan please don't add nigeria okay. what please oh, i'm a nigerian and nigerians are not violent i am not violent stop this this is a, a the worst stereotype ever what what i need to read this again what 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 nigerians are lazy okay i get it it is because the leader or one leader in this country went about telling saying nigerian youth are lazy that is why they had to add it as a as like what this is a stereotype this is a misconception you need to go and get your facts right nigerians are the most hardworking people in the world take it or leave it we need to address it. We, we need today i am angry in fact i am boiling Anyways, I'll be talking and addressing the misconceptions or stereotypes about Nigerians. If you're a Nigerian, get into the section, get into the studio, get in here. Let's start talking. We need to trash these misconceptions one after the other. welcome to my channel my name is amazing grace daniel welcome 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 today i will be talking and addressing trashing out all the ster negative stereotypes or misconceptions about nigerians if you are interested in this conversation let's keep talking so the first stereotype negative stereotype actually that has been rated here about nigerians is the fact that nigerians are scammers oh god can we just let me just drop this let's talk about this we need to talk about it we need to talk about it are you kidding me okay this one is even rated not just rated by by you know the whites let's say it's not just rated by united states also rated by uk rated by south africans Ghanaians also rate Nigerians as scammers. Wow. Wahoo. So, as a Nigerian that I am, I am not a scammer. And not all Nigerians are scammers. Wait, let me get it. Is it because of Hospope? Hospope. <laughs> oh God. One person out of 200 million Nigerians or 10 or 20 people out of 200 million Nigerians you rate the whole of Nigeria every citizen of Nigeria a scammer are you kidding me Nigerians are not fraudsters okay yes a certain group of people decided to give to give themselves a job called fraudsters or give themselves a title called scammers just a certain group of few people yes from this country but just a few that does not mean all of us are scammers sorry no M most nigerians are not scammers i don't even know one scammer funny enough so most nigerians are not scammers most nigerians 
are doing a lot of decent jobs, doing being doctors, getting degrees, going to school, doing things, doing great things, even still doing mini menial jobs for a living, surviving the right and the legal way. Not all Nigerians, not not even seventy percent are scammers. Thirty percent are not even scammers. Nigerians, majority of Nigerians, I could even say as much as 90% of Nigerians are not scammers. So please, if you're not from Nigeria and you all the while you have been brainwashed to believe Nigerians are scammers or because one of your cousin, sister, sister, brother, uh, uncle, auntie was scammed once does not mean all of Nigeria is scamming. Okay, please, just, just let us, let, mm -mm. this ratio, uh, it's doing me somehow. I don't like it. No, I don't. The next negative stereotype that we need to trash out, <laughs> we need to trash it right away, is the fact that Nigerians are lazy. Ha! When I heard this one, my head wanted to burst. As a, just like, just the last day I say, <laughs> made my brain burst, man. Hey, Jesus. God. Are you kidding me? Because one man, one, one, let me not insult somebody before they will just say I said his speech or whatever. But let me say this clearly. Have you seen Nigerians hustle? You don't see Nigerian man they hustle. You don't see her see they oh Nigerians can hustle. They can struggle. They can work hard. I can't even say Nigerians are the most hardworking people in the world. Nigerians are always looking for ways to survive. We do not give up. We do not, we, in fact, we are always on top of our game and you say we are lazy nigerians lazy ah no abba wait no 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 no. i will not take this one if you're a nigerian would you take are you okay with this stereotype are you okay with this misconception because it's clearly a misconception this is clearly this is clearly not right how can you say that i am lazy ah, ah. just because yes there's always a minority in every place every walk every family there's always something someone odd everybody cannot be equal everybody cannot be the same there's just few or one or two three people who, who chose to be lazy that does, that does not mean i cannot even stand to say nigerians are lazy and to think that that has been something going on in the minds of outsiders outside nigerians who believe that nigerians are lazy nigerians are not lazy okay nigerians are hard working we wake up in the morning we are just working hard we work hard for a living in fact nigerians work harder than what they get you work harder than the pay you get at the end of the day you work so hard yet what you get paid at the end of it at the end of the day is not even what your hard work but yet we still work and you say nigerians are lazy please whoever came up with that that theory and made it a well-known whatever please let us let it let it stop here okay let it stop here we're not lazy we are not and i said nigerians are not lazy hmm. hey anyways the next stereotype that we have to trash out is a stereotype that nigerians are uneducated like the video when i said that's what they said no no that's not what go and read on it <laughs> Nigerians that take education like gold. That is that is the main aim of almost every parent, every child, everyone to at least have a first degree. And now it's not just first degree, have a master's degree. The average Nigerian wants to have at least a first degree and a master's degree. Unlike the whites, the UKs and the Americans, if they just have a high, a, a, a high school degree, that that's okay for them. They can go about at eighteen. You're already independent. You should you should take care. Of, you should afford a house. Nigerians, until you don't finish school, you never you never start. Nigerians are the ones that spend so much money training their taking their children taking loans to take their children outside the shores of this country to get educations. They're one of the highest rated. African countries that spend money on diaspora universities and just are the ones that make every effort just to make as an education a priority and you say we are all educated. Education is, diff is in different ways. Education can come in skill and I just are well skilled. We are well skilled, knowledgeably, we are well into it. Book academically, we are also well into it. We might not be 
the best or the perfect but saying categorizing us as uneducated that is that is that is going far because we make it our gold every average family has mm, got graduate in fact it is a is a tag because in nigeria it is seen that that is what makes you a human as an adult now it's about getting a master's in fact first degree is not enough for nigerians and you say and i just are not uneducated please these statistics who wrote it who wrote these statistics we need to who wrote these statistics who wrote this um will it you know what let's finish just let's just hold on and <laughs> let me calm down and then we'll finish this hmm this particular stereotype eh? i don't know what to say i don't know what to say it says here that uh <clears throat> let me read it that nigerians are arrogant <laughs> Let me let me leave that one for the comment section. Like, if you have something to say about it, please say something about it because I don't want to believe that these people, these people are real. Just because we stand up for ourselves, just because we choose to be confident, just because we choose to be sovereign, we choose to take stop taking shit from, you know, just not allow nonsense go on in our country. You call us arrogant. I don't want to dive on because if I dive on this one. Eh, <laughs> I sleep we go sleep here we will sleep here so let me leave that one and go to the next one because there are still others to trash out so the next nigerian misconception <laughs> this is the this is the conception that make me know that it is miss they miss it they, they they actually i think they mistaken us for another country is the fact that nigerians are violent i beg you cannot tell me just because of ordinary Boko Haram. It's not ordinary though, because it is a serious insurgency going on in Nigeria. I can agree with you. It has been long. We've been trashing, trying to solve the issue of Boko Haram, trying to fix it. Yes, it's a problem for us as well. A certain Islamic sect decided to create violence. It just, you know, and we're trying our best to control it. At least it is controllable. Go to Iraq and see violence. Go to Pakistan and see violence. Go to Iran and see violence. Go to Afghanistan. Go to these Arabian countries. Go and see the true meaning of violence. Yes, it's not even Israeli. Sorry, I forgot to mention Israeli. I've been watching that one since BBC since I was a child. Now, now that I am old, since I was born, and now that I am I'm growing. <laughs> They are still they are still having violence as an order of the day. They can't even control it. And you see Nigerians are violent. It's just a group of people that decided to be violent. Let me just correct it. It's just a, a set of people, a certain uh, um, uh, people against Western culture, against whatever thing they say they're against. A certain group of people, just a certain group, but still trying to fix it. A certain group of people that decided to be violent that does not mean that all every single person in nigeria is violent nigerians we are peacemakers so in fact <laughs> we don't even like violence let me tell you why if they are shooting unlike you guys that when you are shooting gun you want to go there and start the scene of the of the <laughs> of the gunshots or be want to stay there and be looking at oh they're shooting gun no come and see they're shooting gun no even for this toll gate issue that's the only time we had to be public about it. To be honest, Nigerians, once they just hear gunshot one, everybody will leave what he's doing. <laughs> who, 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 who won't die for Nigeria? Nobody, want, with all the stuff how we they pass through for this country, we still no one die. We go wrong. We will run, leave whatever we are selling, wherever we are, and look for where we will still be alive. To tell you how we love peace. Nobody will fight back. We are not... We are not violent people. It's just a peace loving people. And to think that most people will say, I, I don't want to go to Nigeria because of the violence. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who is brainwashing? Who, who came up with this, with, with this ratio? This notion? It happened once. That's it. It was only once that someone attempted suicide bomb one Nigerian once. You can't even count how many of these Arab countries did it as a normal thing. 
as a job, as a as what? Just one, one Nigerian out of 200 million that decided to attempt suicide bomb. Ah, Nigerian is now violent. See, eh? as in, <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the misconceptions that we have to keep facing as Nigerians, especially for those living in diaspora, for those living outside the shores of Nigeria, even in nearby African countries, because these misconceptions, they affect us. Misconceptions and stereotypes, they affect... We'll talk about it by the time I finish. We have to talk about these things, what it does to us. The next misconception... I say miscop. Sorry, not miscop. <laughs> the next misconception... English is getting harder now because it's not my first language, okay? The next misconception is the fact that Nigerians are loud. I think that goes way with the arrogance thing. Nigerians are not loud. So let me let me even leave it. Arrogance, loud, let me not even bother answering. I've answered arrogance. So the answer that I would have give for arrogance is what I'm going to give for loud. So go you can rewind and get it because I don't even want to. There are, there are things I don't want to be arguing over because it pisses me off. Nigerians are not loud. Okay? We're not loud. We are not loud. The last misconception. <laughs> There's too many misconceptions, but I'll just, you know, my head is getting hot. My body is getting, blood is getting hot. It hurts me for body, so I don't feel just sit down. I cannot stay here and keep allowing myself to get hot, so I have to just wrap it up with this last one. The Nigerians are poor. The richest black man in the world, let me just remind you, is a Nigerian. Go and ask him. Dangote. The richest pastor in the world is a Nigerian. I didn't say richest black or white. Pastor, or white, black, all of them. Is a Nigerian. The richest black woman in the world is a Nigerian. You want me to be listed when it comes to entertainment, it comes to music, Nigerians are ranking one of the richest. Nigerians are doing great things. Yes, we have a lot of poor people, masses who are living in poverty. That does not mean all Nigerians are poor. And Nigerians living in luxury, who made money from this same country and come and waste it in, in the diaspora. There are Nigerians, yes, that are rich, many, just in case you know not aware. We are not all, all of us all poor. Yes, we have a lot of us that are struggling, but we are not all poor. So stop that notion. Stop looking at us as if we are rags and you must trample on or sleep on or, or take advantage of. We should not believe in colonialism or be colonialism or whatever when we have gotten independence. No, we shouldn't. You shouldn't subject us to that. When people, you know, make this kind of notions and stereotypes and misconceptions about us, they forget that it robs us of our individuality. It creates a barrier for growth, for, 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 for growth in us or to showcase the beauty of what we have. Hi, so we are done with all the ranting. Sorry, this was a rant video. As in, I just had to, when I came across these notions and I saw a lot of people say this about us and the fact that it has been well believed that these are our characteristics, I had to come and readdress it because it's not true. And I'm sure if you're a Nigerian, you can agree that this is not true. And if you have to lend a voice out there to remind them that we are not all these things that we have listed, please do click the subscribe button, share this video, like it, Ajare, just please, please, please like this video, share it, click the subscribe button. Let's keep having these discussions. Let's keep showing you around. Let's keep talking about our culture, different ethnic groups. You know, a lot about Nigeria. There's so much to come.